Lesson number 19, Exercises in Posting. Hello guys, kumusta mga kaibigan? In this lesson, we are going to perform posting of transactions. Let's post our journal entries to the respective ledgers. I had created a ledger using Microsoft Excel, just like what I did for our journal. You can buy one if you want or just create one using a spreadsheet. Let's start. Our first journal entry is a debit to cash for 100,000 and a credit to Pamin 2 and Capital for 100,000. Let us post each entry to the respective ledger. We're going to start with cash. Cash was debited, so let us post this transaction, cash transaction, to the cash ledger. This is the cash ledger. So the account name is cash. The account code is 1100. This is the account code for cash. Now, in order to post the debit entry, we write the date, March 1. Then we write the description, invested cash to establish a business consultancy firm. So you can just copy the description written on the journal to this ledger. Then the posting reference pertains to the page of the journal. So the journal entry for the first transaction was written on the first page of the journal. So we, we wrote J1 for journal page number one. Since cash was debited, so we're going to write the amount under the debit column, 100,000. Then under the balance section, under debit, we write also 100,000. So it means uh, currently as of March 1, the balance of the cash ledger is 100,000. Remember what I had mentioned in our exercises in journalizing, that we are going to supply the data in the posting reference column in our journal only after we had posted the transaction. So after posting the debit entry in the cash ledger, we can now write the posting reference, which is 1100, the account code for cash. The posting reference in our journal pertains to the account code of the entry debit or credit entry. Next, let us post the credit entry, which is a credit to Pamin 2 and Capital. This is the ledger for Pamin 2 and Capital. To post our credit entry, we write the date, March 1, the description, invested cash to establish a business consultancy firm. Under the posting reference, we write J1 because the entry again is written on the first page of the journal. Actually, all our journal entries from uh, March 1 to March 31 were written on the first page of the journal. So we write J1. Since Pamit 2 and Capital was credited, so we are going to write the amount in the credit column, 100,000. Balance, also under the credit column, we write 100,000. So as of March 1, the balance of Pamit 2 and Capital is a credit for 100,000. After posting the credit entry, we can now write its posting reference, which is 3100, the account code of Pamintuan Capital. Our second journal entry is a debit to taxes and licenses for 3,500 pesos and a debit to cash for 3,500 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. This is the taxes and licenses ledger, account code 5700. To post the debit entry, we write the date, March 2, the description, pay the business permit and BIR registration, posting reference, again J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 3,500, because taxes and licenses was debited. In the balance section, under the debit column, we also write 3,500 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 5700, the account code of taxes and licenses. Let us post the credit entry. We have a credit to cash for 3,500. To post the credit entry in the cash ledger, we write the date, two. We don't have to write the month, March, because we had, we had already written it in our first 
posting for the cash account. Description, pay the business permit in BIA registration. Posting reference, J1. And under the credit column, we write 3,500 because in this transaction, cash was credited. And the balance, we write 96,500. How did we get 96,500? Originally, we have a debit for 100,000 less a credit for 3,500. So that is why the balance for the cash ledger as of March 2 is 96,500. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, we have a debit to office equipment, 25,000 pesos, and a credit to accounts payable, 25,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. This is the office equipment ledger. The account code is 1500. In order to post the debit entry, we write the date, March 4. We write the description, purchase a desktop computer and credit to be used in the business. Posting reference, it's J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 25,000 pesos, because in this transaction, office equipment was debited. And in the balance section, under the debit column, we also write 25,000 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 1500, the account code for office equipment. Let us post our credit entry. Credit to accounts payable for 25,000 pesos. This is the accounts payable ledger, account code 2100. In order to post the credit entry, again we write the date, March 4. The description, purchase a desktop computer and credit to be used in the business. Posting reference, J1. In the credit column, we write 25,000 pesos because accounts payable was credited in this transaction. Then in the balance section under the credit column, we also write 25,000 pesos. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference to 100, the account code of accounts payable. Next transaction, a debit to office supplies for 3,200 pesos and a credit to cash for 3,200 pesos. Let us post the debit entry, a debit to office supplies. This is the office supplies ledger with account code 1300. To post the debit entry, we write the date, March 4, then the description, purchase bond papers, pens, pencils, memo and other supplies for cash. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 3,200 pesos, because in this transaction, office supplies was debited. In the balance section, under the debit column, we also write the amount, 3,200 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 1300, the account code for office supplies. Let's post the credit entry, a credit to cash for 3,200. Before we post the credit entry, you may have noticed that the first transaction, the transaction on March 1 involving a debit to cash for 100,000 pesos, does not appear in this ledger. I had intentionally hidden it to make this picture viewable. The more entries that are posted in each ledger, the text becomes smaller. It would be difficult to read the details when viewing this tutorial. So for this video, the postings in each ledger will be limited to two entries only, so you will have no difficulty reading its contents. So to post the credit entry, you write the date, 4. The description, purchase bond papers, pens, pencils, memo, and other supplies for cash. Posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount, 3,200 pesos. And in the balance section, under the debit column, we write 9,300 pesos. How did we get 9,300 pesos? So we have a previous uh, debit balance for 9,650 less the credit balance 3,200. That is why the balance as of March 4 is a debit to 9,300 pesos. 
After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference, 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, a debit to prepaid rent for 15,000 pesos and a credit to cash for 15,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. This is the prepaid rent account with account code 1400. To post the debit entry, we write the date, March 4, the description, paid rent in advance for three months, posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 15,000 pesos. In the balance section, under the debit column, we also write 15,000 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we can now write the posting reference, 1400, the account code for prepaid rent. Let us post the credit entry a credit to cash for 15,000 pesos. To post the credit entry in the cash ledger, we write the description, paid rent in advance for three months. By the way, we don't have to write the date because this posting also occurred on March 4 and our previous posting occurred on March 4. We had already written the date, 4. Write the posting reference J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount, 15,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write the balance 78,300. How did we get 78,300? We have a previous balance of 93,000 pesos debit minus 15,000 pesos credit. So that is why the balance as of March 4 is 78,300 pesos debit. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 1100 the account code for cash. Next transaction, we have a debit to furniture and fixtures for 20,000 pesos, a credit to cash for 5,000 pesos, and a credit to accounts payable for 15,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. To post the debit entry in the furniture and fixtures ledger, we write the date, March 6, the description, purchase tables, chairs, and cabinets with partial payment, Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, write the amount, 20,000 pesos. In the balance section, under the debit column, we also write the amount, 20,000 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we can now write the posting reference, 1600, the account code for furniture and fixtures. Let us post the credit entry. By the way, we have two credit entries for this transaction, a credit to cash, for 5,000 and a credit to accounts payable for 15,000 pesos. Let us post first the first credit entry, a credit to cash for 5,000 pesos. To post the first credit entry to the cash ledger, we write the date 6, the description purchase tables, chairs, and cabinets with partial payment, posting reference J1, and under the credit column, we write the amount 5,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 73,300. How did we get 73,300? Previous balance of 78,300 debit less 5,000 credit. So the balances of March 6 of the cash ledger is 73,300 debit. After posting the first credit entry, we write the posting reference 1100 the account code for cash. Let us post the second credit entry, a credit to accounts payable for 15,000 pesos. To post the second credit entry in the accounts payable ledger, we write the date, March 4, the description, purchase a desktop computer and credit to be used in the business, the posting reference, J1, under the credit column, we write the amount, 25,000 pesos, and in the balance section, we also write 25,000 pesos under the credit column. After posting the second credit entry, we write the posting reference 2100, the account code for accounts payable. Next transaction, a debit to advertising expense 3,000 pesos and a credit to cash 3,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. To post the debit entry in the advertising expense ledger, we write the date, March 7, 
the description, paid for advertisement in a radio station to promote a business. We write the posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write 3,000 pesos. And in the balance section under the debit column, we also write 3,000 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 5800, the account code for advertising expense. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to cash for 3,000 pesos. To post the credit entry in the cash ledger, we write the date, 7, the description, paid for advertisement in a radio station to promote the business, posting reference, J1, under the credit column, we write the amount 3,000 pesos. And in the balance section under the debit column, we write 70,300 pesos. To get 70,300 pesos, we deduct the credit 3,000 pesos from the previous debit balance, 73,300. So as of March 7, the balance of the cash ledger is 70,300 pesos debit. After posting the credit entry, we can now write the posting reference, 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, we have a debit to cash for 10,000 pesos and a credit to consulting revenue, 10,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry first, a debit to cash for 10,000 pesos. To post the debit entry in the cash ledger, we write the date, then the description, Rendered a business consulting service to an IT company. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 10,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write the amount, 80,300 pesos. How did we get 80,300 pesos? We have a previous balance of 70,300 debit plus 10,000 debit. So the balance as of March 10 is 80,300 debit. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to consulting revenue for 10,000 pesos. To post the credit entry in the consulting revenue ledger, we write the date, March 10, the description, rendered a business consulting service to an IT company, posting reference J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount, 10,000 pesos. In the balance section, under the credit column, we also write the amount, 10,000 pesos. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference, 4100, the account code for consulting revenue. Next transaction, we have a debit to accounts payable for 10,000 pesos and a credit to cash for 10,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. In the accounts payable ledger, we write the date, March 12. The description, partial payment to settle the account from the purchase of, of desktop computer on March 4. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 10,000 pesos. And in the balance section, under the credit column, we write 30,000 pesos. How did we get 30,000 30, pesos? We have a previous credit balance of 40,000 pesos minus 10,000 debit. So our balance as of March 12 is 30,000 pesos credit. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference to 100, the account code for accounts payable. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to cash for 10,000 pesos. To post the credit entry to the cash ledger, we write the date, 12. The description, partial payment to settle the account from the purchase of desktop computer on March 4. Posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount, 10,000 pesos. And in the balance section under the debit column, we write 70,300 pesos. How did we get this amount? The previous balance is 80,300 pesos pesos debit minus 10,000 pesos credit. That is why as of March 12, the balance of the cash ledger is 70,300 debit. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. 
Next transaction, we have a debit to cash for 20,000 pesos. Another debit to accounts receivable, 30,000 pesos. And a credit to consulting revenue, 50,000 pesos. Let us pose the first debit entry, a debit to cash for 20,000 pesos. To post the debit entry to the cash ledger, we write the date, 15. The description completed a marketing consulting service to a newly established business with partial receipt. Posting reference J1, under the debit column, we write the amount, 20,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write the amount, 90,300 pesos. How did we get 90,300 pesos? We have a previous debit balance, 70,300 minus I uh, so should I say plus 20,000 pesos debit. So 70,300 pesos debit plus 20,000 pesos debit. The balance of the cash ledger as of March 15 is 90,300 debit. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. Let us post the second debit entry, a debit to accounts receivable for 30,000 pesos. In the accounts receivable ledger, we write the date, March 15. The description, completed a marketing consulting service to a newly established business with partial receipt. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 30,000 pesos. In the balance section, under the debit calls, column, we also write the amount, 30,000 pesos. After posting the second debit entry, we write the posting reference, 1200, the account code for accounts receivable. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to consulting revenue, for 50,000 pesos. In the consulting revenue ledger, we write the date, 15. The description, completed a marketing consulting service to a newly established business with partial receipt. Posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write 50,000 pesos. In the balance section under the credit column, we write 60,000 pesos. How did we get 60,000 pesos? We have a previous credit balance of 10,000 pesos plus 50,000 pesos credit. So as of March 15, the balance of the consulting rev revenue ledger is 60,000 pesos credit. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 4100, the account code for consulting revenue. Next transaction, we have a debit to accounts receivable, 25,000 pesos, and a credit to consulting revenue, 25,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. To post the debit entry in the accounts receivable ledger, we write the date, 17. The description, rendered a consulting service on credit to a retail store. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 25,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 55,000 pesos. How did we get 55,000 pesos? We have a previous debit balance, 30,000 pesos, plus 25,000 pesos debit. As of March 17, the balance of the accounts receivable ledger is 55,000 pesos debit. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 1200, the account code for accounts receivable. Let us post the credit entry. We have a credit to consulting revenue, 25,000 pesos. In the consulting revenue ledger, we write the date, 17. We write the description, rendered a consulting service on credit to a retail store. We write the posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write 25,000 pesos. In the balance section, under the credit column, we write 85,000 pesos. To get 85,000 pesos, we added 60,000 pesos credit to the previous balance to 25,000 pesos credit. As of March 17, the balance of the consulting revenue ledger is 85,000 pesos credit. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 4100, the account code for consulting revenue. Next transaction, debit to accounts payable 5,000 pesos, credit to cash 5,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. 
In the Accounts Payable Ledger, we write the date, 19. We write the description, pay the monthly installment for the purchase of tables, chairs, and cabinets on March 6. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write 5,000 pesos. In the balance section under the credit column, we write 25,000 pesos. How did we get 25,000 pesos? We have a previous credit balance of 30,000 pesos minus 5,000 pesos debit. As of March 19, the balance of the accounts payable ledger is 25,000 pesos credit. After posting the debit entry, write the posting reference to 100, the account code for accounts payable. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to cash for 5,000 pesos. In the cash ledger, we write the amount, 19. Write the description, pay the monthly installment for the purchase of tables, chairs, and cabinets on March 6. Posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write 5,000 pesos. In the balance section, under the debit column, we write 85,300 pesos. How did we get 85,300 pesos? We have a debit balance of 90,300 minus 5,000 credit. As of March 19, the balance of the cash ledger is 85,300 debit. After posting the credit entry, we can now write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, a debit to cash for 40,000 pesos, a credit to unearned revenue 40,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry, a debit to cash for 40,000 pesos. In the cash ledger, we write the date, 20. The description, received cash in advance from a client for a marketing consulting engagement. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 40,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 125,300 pesos. How did we get 125,300 pesos? We have a previous debit balance of 85,300 pesos plus 40,000 pesos debit. As of March 20, the balance of the cash ledger is 125,300 pesos, the debit balance. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 1100, the account code for cash. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to unearned revenue for 40,000 pesos. In the unearned revenue ledger, we write the date, March 20. The description, receive cash in advance from a client for a marketing consulting engagement. We write the posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount, 40,000 pesos. In the balance section under the credit column, we also write 40,000 pesos. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference, 2300, the account code for unearned revenue. Next transaction, we have a debit to cash for 25,000 pesos, a debit to accounts receivable, 25,000 pesos, and a credit to consulting revenue, 50,000 pesos. Let us post the first debit entry. To post the first debit entry in the cash ledger, we are at the date, 22. The description, completed a consulting service for a manufacturing company with partial receipt, posting reference J1. Under the debit column, we write 25,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 150,300 pesos. How did we get 150,300 pesos? A previous debit balance, 125,300 pesos, plus 25,000 pesos debit. As of March 22, the cash ledger has a debit balance of 150,300 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 1100, the account code for cash. Let us post the second debit entry, a debit to accounts receivable for 25,000 pesos. In the accounts receivable ledger, we write the date, 22. The description, completed a consulting service for a manufacturing company with partial receipt. Posting reference, J1, under the debit column, we write 25,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 80,000 pesos. How did we get 80,000 pesos? We have a previous 55,000 pesos debit balance plus a debit for 25,000 pesos 
As of March 22, the balance of accounts receivable ledger is 80,000 pesos debit. After posting the second debit entry, we write the posting reference 1200, the account code for accounts receivable. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to consulting revenue, 50,000 pesos. In the consulting revenue ledger, we write the date, 22. The description, completed a consulting service for a manufacturing company with partial receipt. We write the posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write 50,000 pesos. In the balance section under the credit column, we write 135,000 pesos. How did we get 135,000 pesos? We have a credit balance of 85,000 pesos plus 50,000 pesos credit. As of March 22, the consulting revenue ledger account has a credit balance of 135,000 pesos. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference, 4100, the account code for consulting revenue. Next transaction, we have a debit to utilities expense, 300 pesos, a credit to cash, 300 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. To post the debit entry in a utilities expense ledger, we write the date, March 26, the description, pay the water bill for the month, posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 300 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we also write 300 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 5200, the account code for utilities expense. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to cash for 300 pesos. In the cash ledger, we write the date, 26, the description, pay the water bill for the month, posting reference, J1, under the credit column, we write the amount, 300 pesos. In the balance section, under the debit column, we write 150,000 pesos. How did we get this amount? We have a previous debit balance of 150,300 pesos minus 300 pesos credit. As of March 26, the cash ledger has a debit balance of 150,000 pesos. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference, 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, debit to salary's expense for 4,000 pesos, credit to cash for 4,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. In the salary's expense ledger, we write the date, March 30. The description, Pay the salary of its assistant. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 4,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 4,000 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 5100, the account code for salary's expense. Let us post the credit entry. In the cash ledger, we write the date, 30. The description, Pay the salary of its assistant. Posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, write the amount, 4,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 146,000 pesos. How did we get 146,000 pesos? We have a previous debit balance of 150,000 pesos, less 4,000 credit. As of March 30, the cash ledger has a debit balance of 146,000 pesos. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference, 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, a debit to cash for 25,000 pesos and a credit to accounts receivable, 25,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry, a debit to cash for 25,000 pesos. In the cash ledger, we write the description, collected the account of the retail store on March 17, posting reference J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount 25,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 171,000 pesos. How did we get 171,000 pesos? We have a previous debit balance of 146,000 pesos plus 25,000 debit. As of March 30, the cash ledger has a debit balance of 171,000 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference 1100 the account code for cash. Let us post the credit entry. In the accounts receivable ledger, we write the date, 30. 
The description collected the account of the retail store on March 17. Posting reference J1. Under the credit column, rate the amount 25,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 55,000 pesos. How did we get 55,000 pesos? We have a previous debit balance of 80,000 pesos minus 25,000 credit. As of March 30, the balance of accounts receivable ledger is 55,000 pesos debit. After posting the credit entry, write the posting reference 1200, the account code for accounts receivable. Next transaction, a debit to traveling expense 3,200 pesos and a credit to cash 3,200 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. In the traveling expense ledger, we write the date, March 30. Write the description, payment for the transportation and accommodation to attend a seminar in Manila. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, we write the amount, 3,200 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 3,200 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we write the posting reference, 5300, the account code for traveling expense. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to cash for 3,200 pesos. In the cash ledger, we write the description, payment for the transportation and accommodation to attend a seminar in Manila. Write the posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount, 3,200 pesos. In the balance section, under the debit column, we write 167,800 pesos. How did we get this amount? We have a previous balance of 171,000 pesos debit minus 3,200 credit. As of March 30, the balance of the cash ledger is 167,800 debit. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, a debit to Pamin Tuan withdrawals for 2,000 pesos and a credit to cash for 2,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. To post the debit entry in the Pamin Tuan withdrawals ledger, we write the date, March 31. Write the description, withdrew cash for personal use. Posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, write the amount, 2,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we also write 2,000 pesos. After posting the debit entry, we can now write the posting reference, 3200, the account code for Pamin Tuan withdrawals. Let us post the credit entry, a credit to cash for 2,000 pesos. In the cash ledger, we write the date, 31. We write the description, withdrew cash for personal use. Posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount, 2,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 165,800 pesos. How did we get this amount? We have a debit balance for 167,800 pesos minus 2,000 pesos credit. As of March 31, the balance of the cash ledger is 165,800 pesos debit. After posting the credit entry, write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. Next transaction, a debit to cash for 8,000 pesos, a credit to consulting revenue, 8,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry, a debit to cash for 8,000 pesos. In the cash ledger, we write the description, received cash for a business consulting service. Write the posting reference, J1. Under the debit column, write the amount, 8,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, write 173,800 pesos. How did we get 173,800 pesos? We have a previous debit balance of 165,800 pesos plus 8,000 pesos debit. As of March 31, the balance of the cash ledger 
is 173,800 pesos debit. After posting the debit entry, write the posting reference 1100, the account code for cash. Let us post the credit entry. In the consulting revenue ledger, we write the date, 31. Write the description, receive cash for a business consulting service. Posting reference, J1. Under the credit column, we write the amount 8,000 pesos. In the balance section, under the credit column, we write 143,000 pesos. How did we get 143,000 pesos? We have a previous credit balance of 135,000 pesos plus 8,000 pesos credit. So on March 31, the balance of the consulting revenue ledger is 143,000 pesos credit. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 4100, the account code for consulting revenue. Last transaction, we have a debit to utilities expense 1,000 pesos and a credit to utilities payable 1,000 pesos. Let us post the debit entry. To post the debit entry in the utilities expense ledger, we write the date. 31. Write the description. Receive the electric bill for the month. Write the posting reference J1. Under the debit column, write 1,000 pesos. In the balance section under the debit column, we write 1,300 pesos. How did we get this amount? We have a previous debit balance of 300 plus 1,000 debit. So on March 31, the utilities expense ledger has a debit balance of 1,300. After posting the debit entry, write the posting reference 5200, the account code for utilities expense. Let us post the credit entry. Credit to utilities payable, 1,000 pesos. In the utilities payable ledger, we write the date, March 31. We write the description, receive the electric bill for the month. Posting reference J1. Under the credit column, we write 1,000 pesos. In the balance section under the credit column, we write 1,000 pesos. After posting the credit entry, we write the posting reference 2200, the account code for utilities payable. You had completed this exercise. In our next lesson, we are going to learn how to prepare a trial balance.